The use of overland flow routes to manage water uh, are a fairly new phenomenon in Canada. It started around the 1970s to the present time. Homes built before the 70s tend to rely more on uh, storm uh, sewer systems that are located underground, either combined sewer systems, sometimes separated systems, or sometimes a system that is a combination of a combined and a separated system. Such areas that are built without overland flow routes in mind can be more susceptible to heavy rainfall events. Basically, any water that travels across the surface of the earth holds potential for flooding. In the event that a heavy rainfall or snowmelt exceeds the capacity of underground pipes or overland flow routes, flooding can occur. During a flood event, water will flow in areas it normally would not, including residential areas and private properties. This water can then enter basements through windows, doors, vents, and other openings, such as cracks in foundation walls. Overland flood water can also enter the home through reverse slope driveways. An overland flow route can consist of roads, often with high crowns and high curbs, uh, swales and other features that can be built onto the surface of the earth uh, to manage water and to convey water away from homes. These days, a lot more thought is put into grading of lots to direct water away from homes. As you can see in this new neighborhood, Lots are graded towards the street. Water is then collected in the street and conveyed to stormwater management infrastructure outside of the development. In older neighborhoods, lots aren't graded quite as distinctly as in new neighborhoods. This makes them more vulnerable to overland flooding. Also, streets aren't designed to convey water like in new neighborhoods. So older neighborhoods are more vulnerable to overland flooding. As you can see around this house, the lot is graded somewhat towards the home. This increases the risk of overland flooding. In this case, the poor lot grading is quite distinct and the lot is graded very steeply towards the home. Again, this is another example of poor lot grading that can increase the risk of overland flooding. It's important for homeowners to note that while sewer backup uh, coverage is very common in Canada, and indeed most homeowners have it, uh, coverage for overland flooding does not exist in this country. Provided the water flows over the surface of the earth uh, and enters the home, through doors, windows, or other openings, that would be deemed overland a flood, and that would not be covered under the standard policy in Canada. One measure that can be taken, and this is usually the case in, in homes with reverse slope driveways, is putting catch basins in at the bottom of the driveway, or possibly at the top, as well as raising the very top of the driveway to reduce the amount of water that gets in if it's raining hard. Regardless of what you do to reduce the risk for reverse slope driveways, having this type of driveway increases flood risk significantly. In some circumstances, if there's been a lot of overland flooding and a lot of overland flood water has gotten into basements, this water can enter floor drains in basements and then get into the sanitary sewer. And if there's widespread flooding, this can contribute to sewer backup. Uh, there's a number of other ways that your own home plumbing can affect uh, your neighbor's risk of, of having uh, basement flooding. For example, uh, if you have foundation drains that are connected into the sanitary sewer, this can contribute to overloading of the sewer and result in flooding, not just for your home, but for your neighbor's home. Infiltration flooding occurs when the water table rises, typically above uh, the level of the basement floor, thereby allowing water into the basement via cracks in the foundation. Older homes are more at risk of infiltration flooding due to possible cracks in the foundation and also due to lack of foundation drains. It is more likely that homes built before World War II do not have foundation drains while all new homes have them. Several measures can be taken to help prevent damage to your home from both infiltration and overland flooding from heavy precipitation. Properly maintaining the foundation walls, especially sealing foundation cracks in older homes, is essential. Improving lot drainage and installing window wells and window well covers can greatly improve what might have been an easy entry point for excess water. Remember to talk to your municipality and licensed contractors and plumbers when considering any water management alterations to your property. We encourage you to watch all the videos in the series and to download our handbook for reducing the risk of basement flooding from our website at iclr.org.
Being well-informed is the first step to help you reduce the risk of basement flooding.